How do I stop this? Welcome to The Notorious Needle. If you're new here, I'm Sarah, and I'm all about empowering you to break the rules of conventional cross-stitch so you can make whatever you want. In this video, I'll show you four ways to fix fraying fabric without sewing. Cross-stitch can be done on any even weave fabric. The problem is that any woven fabric can fray, where you have bits coming off the edges like this. The fastest way to prevent fraying is pinking shears. Pinking shears look like this. Basically, it's a pair of scissors that have a serrated edge that cuts the cloth in a zigzag line. To demonstrate, I'm using this blue balloon cross stitch that I've already made. Normally, you would want to prevent fraying, so you would do this before you stitch or during if you're having a problem. I'm just going to trim off the edge here. A little bit harder to work with than scissors, but it gets the job done. By creating this zigzag edge, it will prevent the fabric from fraying. You can also use simple masking tape to keep your fabric edges from fraying. For a small project like this, normally I would just use one inch thick masking tape. But for larger projects, you can use thicker tape. Take the masking tape and use about half of it on one side of your edge. Flip it over and fold it around the other side. That is probably the cheapest way you can stop your fabric from fraying. Sometimes the masking tape can leave a sticky residue on the edge of your fabric. Most of the time that you can just wash off. You're going to want to wash it when you're done anyways, but a little bit of soapy water will get the sticky stuff right off. And if not, you can always trim your fabric. Another way to stop your fabric from fraying is fabric glue. This is called fabric fusion. There is a very popular type of fabric glue called Fray Check, specifically designed for this purpose, but I like to use an all-purpose fabric glue. This could get a little bit messy. I'm going to add a paper plate to my work surface. This is already starting to fray. I'm just gonna pull off these pieces and then I'm going to use the fabric glue along the edge of my fabric. That should do it. Always check your label for proper use and how long to leave your fabric to dry. Usually overnight is plenty of time for any fabric glue to set. Some set in as little as an hour. Another way to stop your fabric from fraying or to prevent it altogether is to use a Q-snap and a grime guard, or even just an embroidery hoop with a grime guard. A grime guard is a piece of fabric with elastic that stretches over the embroidery hoop or the Q-snap and holds all the extra fabric in place. Because the fabric is being held by the grime guard and every time you take your project out or put it away, it's not being handled very much. So that can help prevent the fabric from fraying around the edges. This video is part of a series about how to fix common cross-stitch mistakes. Join the Notorious Nook VIP Club down below so you never miss a tutorial. You also get this blue balloon pattern for free, among others, when you join the Notorious Nook, and membership is always free. Stitch on. Blah, blah, blah. say that five times fast. Oh my gosh, it would help if it wasn't ancient.